Why is artificial intelligence so cheap? Right now, we can access AI for free using platforms like Hugging Chat or alternatively get access to very high functioning models for only 20 bucks a month. In addition, when accessing it through software, it is pennies on the dollar or even as far as being completely free for use. By the end of this video, you're going to get an answer to that question from the perspective of someone that's building a artificial intelligence integrated software. So let's go ahead and jump in. Yesterday, I did a video on GPT-4 mini and why it's actually pretty important if you use it within your business. I'll go ahead and make sure I leave a tag to this later in the video. But for now, one of the questions I received was this. In that video, I described how we get more value at cheaper prices from these AI providers, which is typically not a trend we see in this context. Usually when trying to access a higher value model or just trying to access high value stuff, you pay more. But we're seeing this weird trend from these AI providers where we're getting access to higher level models for cheaper prices. This video kind of goes over that situation. This comment though basically said, how does this help OpenAI though? Why would they do this if it wasn't something in it for them? So in this video, we're gonna answer that. If you want a quick answer to this in five seconds, it's capitalism. But let me explain actually why. Scrolling out. Those who stayed past just the simple word of capitalism, let me explain why. In the early days of creating software, web applications, and everything of that nature, and this still exists now, of course, I use this within my own software, we have cloud providers. You know what? This video, we're using the text tool. So it's more legible. Cloud providers. What is a cloud provider, Corbin? Cloud providers are basically, think of Google Cloud, think of AWS, everything that runs in the back end of anything that you've ever used in your entire life. Did you just open up Instagram? They got a cloud provider. What cloud providers allow us to do is basically build out applications, use their services at very cost-effective rates, alternative to me having to set up a warehouse with a bunch of servers. Let's do a cloud provider. Don't worry, I'll tie this back to why AI is cheap. I'm just giving you a very specific correlation here. With cloud providers, they will provide you with ridiculous offers. They'll give you $500 of credits for free, 500 USD free. They will give you plans that are pay as you go and even go as far as giving you straight up free access to a cloud provider with no charge if you don't exceed a certain amount of usage. So free, free, and free. How is this relevant to AI providers and why they're so cheap? On a surface level, when you pay 20 USD a month, that's just beyond everything else. Like that's just, if you actually know how to use these chatbots and get value out of them, you will understand why 20 USD will be the cheapest 20 USD you ever spend in your entire life. I've done videos on this. Check out this video right here. It compares the different chatbots, tells you why you would use each one for each specific use case. But genuinely, if you're only using a chatbot once, twice, three times a month, then this is probably not for you. For me personally, I use it every single day. So as a quick tangent here, how do you use it every single day, Corbin? Think about it. For me personally, I don't like doing grammar. I'm good at writing stuff, but grammar has always been like, I just don't like dealing with it. Oh, I forgot an apostrophe there. I forgot a comma there. Grammar. Let's actually type it out. So one small use case that I use every single day is using a chat GBT GBT that is specialized in grammar. What does this do? I simply input the text I wrote out and output grammar correct text. That right there is a solution offered by Grammarly that would cost me more money alternatively to a 20 USD flat rate that I get the value out of for just the grammar. And I can use this chat GBT for other context, grammar, coding, idea generation, and so much more. That's why this is powerful and 20 USD a month. If you truly know how to use it and leverage it, you're going to make your money back off that 20 bucks. So beyond that though, why in that video is AI as a provider getting cheaper and cheaper, but providing more value? It's because of an entire new market that has emerged within the last one to two years. And I'm going to make a whole video tomorrow or two days from now going over this topic, but there's a huge new game here. There's a huge new game here. What's the new game, Corbin? That's AI plus software software. This right here changes everything. Up to this point, we've been able to create software, of course. But the ability to integrate AI into that software really hasn't been possible until the last two years. You know, technically, they use some form of AI in the 90s. No, that's not what I'm talking about here. What I'm talking about is this version of AI that's very comprehensive, very intuitive. We've only been able to do in the last two years. Therefore, why is it getting cheaper and cheaper, more and more and more value? Because these AI providers want to do what the cloud providers did in the 2010s and the 2000s. And that is simply, they want to provide the cheapest endpoint to access artificial intelligence at the highest rate of value. Get access to AI very cheap, like gbt 4 l Mini, build a software application using this AI, go do software application, app, and if that app becomes a multi-million dollar company slash multi-billion dollar company, and it uses the AI provided by the AI providers, they win no matter what. It doesn't matter because for them, 
they're still making money. Even if it's at pennies on the dollar, they're still making money. This sounds fine and dandy, but Corby, give me an example of this. What business is run on top of an AI provider that is a multi-billion dollar company? Well, before we even get to that, let's just get into the original scenario here, which started with cloud providers. Cloud providers want to get softwares built on top of them because at the end of the day, they're winning no matter the business if it succeeds. An example of this is AWS, which you probably already know. But what is a company that's built on top of AWS that's a multi-billion dollar company? Um, Zapier. <laughs> you could have straight up conglomerates built on top of cloud providers. And who really wins at the end of the day there? Both do. But who really wins? The cloud provider. Therefore, we are in the same race here. But now it's cloud provider AI software. So in this context, the cloud provider wins again. So like if you want to go further down the chain here, it's going to be cloud provider, then AI, then app. So like the real way you win in all this would be like getting past and being the cloud provider. That's a whole different story. That's a whole different game. But the point being is this, we've reached a level here where now these AI providers want to be the one providing you the artificial intelligence. So if that app that you're creating or this business is creating becomes a multi-billion dollar company and they're using your AI and on top of that, the AI that they're using from you, you have to prompt specifically for it. The way you prompt for open AI is going to be a little bit different how you prompt for Gemini. The way you prompt for Gemini is going to be a little different than how you prompt for Claude. Everything. If you build out a multi-million, if not billion dollar company using an endpoint from an AI provider, they win. They really win. And so do you. You make a lot of money as well. So to answer the question, why is AI so cheap right now is because we are in the emergence of a brand new market and a brand new economy that's going to be built off artificial intelligence. Therefore, they're going to try to grasp as many new consumers as feasibly possible, especially as an AI provider. The game they're playing is that let's say they have a thousand, hundreds of thousands of developers and each one's building their own little app, their own little software, et cetera, et cetera. If 10 of those apps out of a hundred thousand, if 10 of them reach multi-billion dollar status and it's built on their AI, cha-ching, it's over. Therefore, long-term, when making money in business, like anything, you want to work your way down the chain rather than up the chain. Why does Amazon do AWS? They're supposed to be an e-commerce store. Wait, wait, Amazon does AWS it's because they're working their way down the chain. But long-term for me, my goal is to become that AI provider. And then maybe we go as far as becoming a cloud provider, but who knows? We'll see as we go. That's why AI is so cheap. I'll see you in the next video. These two videos are based off your clicks, the way you've been engaging with YouTube and everything above the board. If you found this video on Twitter instead, then is what it is. I'll see you in the next video.